fuck happened to your face? I fucked up and robbed. Who? Some bitch in the mask. She has some nigga will. There's something I can help you with? Nah, I'm good. Oh, you good now? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you don't got nothing to say nope. now, huh? Mm -hmm. Step out to the night, because we're going to be right there. It's not a fucking movie. Okay, I didn't say it was It's a about the community. This booty call relationship that we have going on. It's over. I'm, I'm done with it. We need to keep this purely professional from now on. Get your shit and go. go. Get your shit. Go. Get out of here. Shut Just go. I am going. So does that mean I have to stay with you a little longer? Right now, your Uncle Sean's still in a coma. Grandma's in the hospital. I'm your best bet for a steady meal. Yo, let me ask you a question. You still looking for steel? Oh, hell yeah, I'm looking for steel. You got a line on him? I know where he be at, man. Oh, what? Yeah, he be at the strip club, man. Look at the time. Yo, steel! What the fuck? You ever figure out who the girl with the colored wig was? Nah, I'm still working on it. Just, just leave it alone. I'll take care of it. Oh, it's you. I need your help. Huh. Someone close to me is missing. My sister was killed. Do you know who did it? So you all do it. They got the price of only one that you hit? I'm not cheating. Talk to me. Digging ways gonna get you locked up. If you don't tell me what I want to know right now, you're gonna find yourself waking up in a jail cell. So if I tell you where they are, then what's in it for me? You get to keep your freedom. Look, I haven't seen Rex in months. And still, I may know where he's at. Tell me. Oh, 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 oh,
I'll tell you anything I hate. I right, won. What's going on, Angel? Camille, you're not going to believe what just happened. What happened? You know, Baron was just in my house. Who's Baron? He's the leader of the voodoo gang. The one we just saw on TV the other day for all that crime. Really? He was in your apartment? Yes. He choked me and everything. How did he get inside? I don't know. Are you okay? That's scary. He said that he was looking for Rex and Steel. He said he was going to kill them. Do you think they'll do that? Part of me hoping that he do. And the other part is hoping he don't kill Steel. At least so he give me my money. Angie, this is starting to sound a little weird. What are you going to do? I'm going to use this to my advantage. Huh? I'm going to tell Steel that I sent the voodoo game in Baron to him. And if you don't pay me my money, I'm going to send them back to him. Angie. That's not a good plan. I'm gonna remind you that you're dealing with dealers and ex-convicts. They're dangerous people. What other choice do I have? Look, I'm following your advice and I'm going back to Atlanta with my mom. But I can't leave until I get my money. Well, I guess I can visit you in Atlanta or in prison if you get caught. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. I'm not going to get caught. But what other choice do I have? I'm getting evicted from my apartment. They repossess my car. I know, Angie. I get it. It's hard. But you have to leave the money and get out. We're talking about your life here. I'm not leaving Brooklyn empty-handed. After all I've been through, I'm not leaving without my money. He was out with his uncle still. Yeah, I'm about tired of it. I'm about to just pack my stuff and be gone. Yeah, hold on, girl. I think that's him coming in right now. Let me call you back, alright? Hey, babe. Right. It's good. It's good, babe. No, it's good, baby. Don't touch me. Where you been? Oh, no. Yo, I was just in the street, just hustling for you. What's you're, good? You're never home. That's what's good. You sitting there out there with your stupid uncle still for what? What is he doing for you? I'm just trying to make you some money. Hey, look. What's this? You call this money? We're past doing rent. I should have listened to my mom when she said you were a bum. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, I don't even like your mom anyway. Why don't you go back to school and get a job? What happened to the honor roll? No. Fuck all that shit. I was just trying to stack up all this money so I could get us this mansion down south. Stop selling me dreams. I'm not selling you dreams. You don't see that? Look at this. I'm making you, I'm making us money. I'm just trying to make us so we can build. What's the point of this? You're always broke. Your sex is whack. I'm always broke. My sex is whack? Yo, get the fuck out of here. You wasn't saying that when I was fucking you good last night. You know what? Fuck you. I'm out of here. Man, go run to your stupid uncle still. Be his little bitch. I won't be here when you come back.
we're talking about on TV. First of all, it's not Voodoo Man. It's Baron. And second of all, I thought I told you not to touch my stuff. Get up. Come on. I thought I told you not to go through my stuff. I was cold. I needed a thicker blanket. You got to listen to me when I tell you to do something. Do you have Voodoo powers? I can't talk about this with anyone. So is it a secret? Yeah, it's a secret just between you and me. I promise I'll keep the secret. Don't tell anyone, and we're not going to talk about this anymore. But are you afraid when you're outside fighting bad guys? No, Ruby. Bad guys get exactly what they deserve. Can I help you fight crime? I can make an old costume. No, you're not going to help me fight bad guys. You're not going to make a costume. I don't want to see anything happen to you. But I don't want nothing to happen to you. Nothing's going to happen to me. God will protect me. But you saw what happened to Grandma and Uncle Sean. Grandma's sick. Now I'm going to find who did what they did to Uncle Sean. I hope so. Just believe me. I give you my word on that, okay? Okay. I'm not going to leave you. Okay. All right? But if you touch my stuff again, you're going to be in the corner for the rest of your life. But I have food and water. No food, no water. You're just going to be staring at the corner, taking pictures in your mind. I ain't going to like that. Yo, Rad, I'm glad you could make it out here, man. What happened? This voodoo man ran up on me last night. That's crazy, man. Yeah, and he's out here robbing my people's blind. He's ruining my business. This man gotta go. When you got voodoo power, trust me, you don't need no mask. You're right. And that's why I'm unleashing you on this voodoo man. You want me to kill him? Yeah, and there's 10 G's in it for you, too. Bro. We family. I don't need your money. Good looks. So this is what I want you to do. I'm gonna put word out on the street that my gang is having a major drug deal. Okay. Now this voodoo man is gonna show up and try to play hero. And when you see him, end him. Say no more. You still got the magic powers your moms gave you? It's not magic, bro. I just can't fucking die. My man's, that's not normal. It is. That's why they call me the zombie. All right. Master. Now, I'm gonna help you. Finally got the information I've been waiting for on the streets. I know where it still has a shipment coming to. I can take out him, his crew, and all the drugs he has poisoning our neighborhoods. But it sounds too perfect. I might be a trap. What do you think I should do? Well, do you know about instincts? Yeah. Instincts are that driving force inside of you that tell you when something's right and when something's wrong. You must always trust your instincts because they never lie. So the question is, what are your instincts telling you to do? Everything inside is telling me I need to be there. Take everyone at that drug deal out. And then you gotta go. You gotta be there. Just keep in mind, I'm there for you if you need me. Doing a lot out there on the streets, Master. I don't want anything I'm doing to come back to you and get you jammed up. Listen, man, you're my number one student. You're my itchy bond. You've got a bond that is unbreakable between master and student. If you need me, I'm there. Master. Man, good luck. We'll be in contact. Just me out here. If it's a trap, where they at? Uh, I don't see anything going down. It's just a briefcase.
run it down, nigga. You ain't making it out of here, Voodoo Bear. I know why you keep coming back to life. You're as good as dead. It's all over now, Voodoo Man. I know why you can't die. You can't kill me. It's time, Voodoo Man. Ruby, what are you doing? I'm getting a costume. Costume? Where do you get that from? I made it myself. What are you gonna do with this costume? What do you need it for? I want to help you fight crime. Uh, you can't help me. What I do is dangerous. But you keep getting hurt. And I'm not gonna bring you out there to get hurt either. Alright? Same again. But I can help you. Nah, Ruby. Nobody can help me. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy. I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit into the kingdom of God. We are all sinners and we all try to make it right. Well, if you ask for forgiveness and you can't go back to what you just asked for forgiveness for. You gotta, you gotta live and let go, you gotta get by it. You gotta give it to God. Bishop White around, I'd like to speak to him personally. Nah, he's not here. He's away on business. And while he's gone, I'm in charge. No threats, Pastor. Murder investigations do not go away. Gotta put it in there, man. I appreciate it. All right? Yo, have a good one, man. Yeah, you, you too, man. Chest, nigga. <laughs> shoot me in the park. Church, get in the fucking car. Let's go. Uh, I'm out here in these streets. I'm trying to keep my head right, man. Like, yo, niggas got me tight right now, bro. Like, I don't know where the fuck the type of soul is, man. I've been trying to hit this dude. He ain't get back to me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Manny's on his way to me right now to meet up with me. He gotta give me a drop. I'm trying to figure this all out, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Yo, matter of fact, he come Maze right now, man. Yeah, I'll holler at you, man. Yo, good looking, man. All right, later. Yo, what up, son? Talk to me, bro. What's going on, man? What's up with Saul? Man, you been watching the news. That shit all over the place, man. Not really. What up? Saul dead. Ain't they found him with drugs, man? Fuck me all over the place. What do you mean? Saul is dead. Who the fuck killed Saul, bro? Fuck if I know. They found him with drugs and everything, so... Saul is important to us, man. Like, we needed Saul, man. That's gonna hurt us. We're gonna lose a lot of money without Saul. Bro, stop crying to get yourself another goddamn running car. Yo, man, I can't just find any dirty cop, man. We, uh, what happened? You heard anything? The word on the street is he had a meeting with that nigga Rex. I'm not sure if he went down or not, though. Damn, Rex is a wild boy, but I don't know, man. Like, yo, listen, I, yo, hit the streets, man. Find out what happened, man. Get back to me on this, bro. Copy, I got you. All right, bro. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Malcolm, on my way home. And tell the babysitter I'll be there soon, all right? Just visited Uncle Sean. Still in a coma, still praying for him. I'm gonna bring you here this weekend to see him, all right? All right.
We'll see you in a minute. I'm on my way to go see Pastor James. You know, something happened and he got shot. They know he's a friend of the family. I'm just gonna go check on him, see how he's doing. Hold on. Pastor James? What is he doing outside? Oh, Pastor James, what you doing outside? I thought you was in a coma. What happened? I need some help, man. Alright, I got you. Hold on. Walk slow. What the hell happened? I thought you was in a coma. Like, what's going on? Yo, they set me up. They set you up? What you mean they set you up? Rex. Pastor Francis, they set me. They set me up. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna do God's work. God's work. Don't tell me you're just talking that crazy stuff again. God told me what to do. And what did He tell you? He told me to do His work. We're gonna clean up these streets. Guys like Rex, Pastor Francis, can't have them no more. I'm gonna need some supplies. What you need? Need some information about where, where Francis is at, where Rex is at. We're going to need some weapons. Oh, I could definitely get both of those. I got people that's in the loop of everything that's going on. Weapons ain't nothing. We, you see the neighborhood we live in. Hey, what's up, Angela? J Mac, why are you here? I thought your uncle was coming to talk to me. But he's busy. Shit is hot in the street, so he sent me. He busy? After all that shit I did for him, he, he couldn't even come talk to me? Yo, you're talking real hot. What's the problem? You and your uncle is my problem. Where is my money? Look, I gave you my money. And you haven't given me anything back. Yo, we already told you that the voodoo gang is going. That is not my problem. Where is the money you promised me? Yo, keep your voice down. Look at the way you're talking to me right now. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to your uncle, but he sent your stupid ass. Just be patient. We'll get you your money. Me and my uncle got some shit cooking in the streets right now. You ain't the only one that got something cooking up in these streets. How about this? The voodoo man works for me now. What? Didn't your uncle get busy the other night? Yeah, he actually did. You and your uncle need to give me my motherfucking money or it's gonna get real ugly for you in these streets. You don't understand what you're saying. I understand what I'm saying. Did your stupid ass hear me stutter? Yo, Voodoo Gang did fuck me up a while back. So now you're telling me that you had something to do with this? Yeah, I did. You stupid motherfucking bitch. You you don't fucked up right now. No, you done fucked up by not bringing your arm. Should have kept your ass quiet. No, you should have kept your ass at home. <laughs> no sign of Rex or his crazy girlfriend. I know they had something to do with my sister's death. Gotta find them. She's gone. I won't rest till I find out who did this. Anyone who had something to do with my sister's death. 
is going to feel pain like they never felt before. I'm watching, and I'll keep watching until I find who's responsible. You already know. Yo, why you even... <laughs> All right, that's what's up. Yo, let me holler at you later. I got some shit I gotta take care of. <laughs> One. Let's go. You took care of that situation with Angela? Yeah, I took care of it. To what she say. You know I need Angela on our side. Can't have out here snitching. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. That bitch was snitching. What? <laughs> yeah, she was working with the voodoo man. She even said that she got us set up and she was behind the robbery. <laughs> That's bullshit. I don't believe that. That's what she said, Unc. She even said she's gonna send him after us if we don't give her back her money. I've known Angela a long time, all right? She's crazy, but she's loyal. She was just trying to scare us. That shit ain't believable. But Unc, you've had to be there. We were at the PA and she was talking that dumb shit. All right, look, I'm gonna talk to her, straighten all this shit out, and we'll be good. But well, there might be a problem with you talking to her. What problem would there be with me talking to her? Because she's gone and she's not coming back. What do you mean she's gone and she's not coming back? Just, Just like, like I said, she was talking that dumb shit, so I had to get rid of her. Bitch. Hey. What the fuck is wrong with you, dog? You would have done the same thing if you were there. What's wrong with you, man? Shit. <laughs> You think I'm stupid? You little bitch! Well, fuck you, Mom! I treated you like a son. Fuck you! I ain't gonna let you push me around no more! You ain't fucking with me! Nobody fucking with me! The character is Ruby, and she is a girl that has many tragic events have happened in her life, like her parents dying. To me, G Redemption is truth, because what you have is you have everybody has their own truth. And it's how those truths interact with each other. So Malcolm has his truth. The pastor has his truth. Rex has his truth. And it's how these things all intersect. And that's what makes the story go. I don't know where Angela is. Oh, really? Then maybe Ruby can tell us where Angela is. I don't know where Angela is. Ruby, stay quiet, I said. I got a solution for you, pastor. Yo, you got 24 hours, all right? Bring Angela back to me. Otherwise, I'm going to run up on you just like I did today. While shooting the series, the thing that surprised me most of how many seats we had to take. And it's not like any other classroom. That's just an excuse to get out the way. Mike, Mike and Cut. Yeah, you went too long. It was so late at night, and we have to keep taking more tapes to for the series. I I know you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Me and my character are alike because we're very, we're very cerebral characters, so we think our way through problems. There's not a problem we can't get through, and I think you'll see that in the series. Me and Ruby are alike because many of her relatives in the series are my real relatives in real life. Uh, Ruby is just not my niece on TV. She's my niece in real life, so it's very easy for me to show love to her. I got into acting because... My dad wanted to be, my dad is a director and he needed an actress. And I also always loved acting. Ruby, I want you to remember this. What doesn't kill you is gonna make you stronger. 
I don't feel very strong. You're one of the strongest kids I know, really. I think really stands out to me is the camaraderie of the cast. Uh, we really work well off of each other. Um, you know, you see, I think me and, me and Rex on camera are really good. Me and Malcolm on camera are really good. Everybody, everybody really played off well off each other. Uh, I was thinking maybe the two of you could come in and see me for some counseling. Counseling? Yeah, she told me about that. I told her, yo, we could talk to D. D, who's D? These men! <laughs> that nigga, that nigga's right? tight. Pastor James is very serious. Like, if I met Pastor James, I'd be like, dude, you need a drink. Like, you, you, you got, like, a lot of pent-up hostility that you just need to let out. Why? Is there somebody coming at you? Hearing anything I'm saying? Yeah, I'm listening to you, cuz. Like, well, I mean, what are you trying to say? Listen, man, come on. Man, yo, cuz. People should watch Zero Redemption because it's the best series ever. There hasn't been a series like this on TV in, like, 10, 20 years. So, this is something I think people need in their lives. Kill him! Kill that motherfucker before it's too late! Fuck, what have I done? Kill a nigga like back in the fucking day. This isn't back in the day, Angela. You came up here to protect me, right? Is that what you wanted the whole time? You Just wanted call me to kill everybody? Just call me to Now stop being a pussy and kill him. I should probably just have my own separate show where I just give advice. You know, we have like Pastor James Hotline or something like that. If you guys need advice, just put some comments in like at the end of a video. Just put a comment on YouTube. Be like, hey, Pastor James, I have a problem with my girl. I'll come. I'll answer. I'll answer your questions. So just make sure you leave comments on our videos. Any problem you got, I got you. Subscribe to G Redemption.